Welcome to our vlog! <laughs> Welcome to vlog episode three. Wanted to come to you today with a little bit of a different note. We talk a lot about real estate, but also the community. We talk about living in Bellevue. We talk about living in Seattle. And today I wanted to come to you um, and just take a couple minutes to talk about uh, our seniors who are graduating this year, in this case from high school, although COVID has affected seniors in college too, but I have a senior in my own house and I wanted to talk to everybody about that and we're gonna talk to the kids as well and just get a couple insights from them. Um, it's been really hard for me personally to miss out on all of the great things that happened your senior year. I had a senior last year and so it was really exciting for me to be a part of graduation parties and the senior breakfast and prom and the after party and all of those things that we planned for and look forward to. That's how I personally feel about it, but I thought it might be nice instead of talking about how I feel about it, um, how do these kids feel about missing out on something so special and so monumental? If you pan over here, we've got some yard signs. So this is the, uh, the new uh, congratulations seniors, you get a yard sign. And I'm really grateful to Bellevue High for um, the parent committee getting these signs together for us because it is nice that we can do something to honor the kids. And we're gonna take a little time today to talk to four kids about things that they're missing, things that they're looking forward to, some of the things that affected them during this time when we're all at home. It's a little different than what I usually do, but this is a big part of my life and um, a lot of our lives right now. And a lot of the community here is really feeling a lot of sadness for things that did not happen. So come with me, we're gonna talk to the kids. First up, we're gonna talk to Libby Mussolino. First of all, I see you're wearing a Kenyan College yep. t-shirt. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell Thank me you. why you chose Kenyan. Um, well, I've always kind of been interested in like a smaller, more community-oriented college experience. And I visited Kenyon over the summer. And you know, it's like in the middle of Ohio, like an hour and a half northeast. Yes, Ohio. Of Columbus. And then they have a really strong liberal arts program. And because I'm still kind of like unsure about what I want to do with my future, that was like really appealing. Mm. What was your first thought as far as school goes? Were you thinking, oh good, we'll just have a little time off? Or were you thinking, oh man, the hammer's really gonna fall? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think anyone really thought that like graduation would be canceled. You know, for a while it was just like, oh, like we get a couple weeks off. We'll all be able to hang out like on weeknights. But then once everything kind of started shutting down, I feel like it kind of just left me with like this sense of like confusion, you know, and it's really unsettling because it's not like you know what's going to happen like a couple months from now or like if we're going to go to college in the fall. And it's just, I think it takes a bit of time to kind of process like the steps that you're going yeah. through. What was one thing you were really looking forward to that you're pretty disappointed didn't happen? I think for me, it was just like forming more memories with all of my friends here. Cause I've realized, you know, like moving and like leaving like a whole set of friends in Chicago, it's really the memories that kind of connect you when you reunite and like keep you closer together. So I think it's just important that like we kind of try to find a new way to like make those memories even though we are apart. Is there any anything you want to say maybe to the, the next class that's going to maybe only be online next year for a little while yeah. or any advice of something if you'd known that this was happening, just a little piece of wisdom that you mm -hmm. could give to the next class of seniors? Um, I think it probably, it really just makes you appreciate like what you have in the moment, you know, and trying to be more present, especially now with our phones and like all these distractions. It's really important to sometimes put that down and just like allow yourself to feel like the joy of like being surrounded with your closest friends. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I'm very excited for you for next year. <laughs> and I know you're gonna love Ohio. Yeah. From one Ohio girl <laughs> to a transplant, it's gonna be amazing in the Buckeye State for you. Yeah, so. I couldn't be more excited. <laughs> Wishing you all the best luck and thank you for talking with of us. Of course, thank you. Next, we're gonna talk to Gabby Wolf. I have known Gabby for about three years. She spends 
an exorbitant amount of time at my home. <laughs> I really do feel like she's a part of our family. Um, she and my son Nate, who you'll meet in a little while, they date and so we spend a lot of time together. We've actually been quarantining together. It's been really nice to have her around, a part of our family, part of our life, and I'm actually really gonna miss her, but thankfully, she's going to the University of Arizona. The University of Arizona, my alma mater. So first I've got the Ohio girl, now I've got the Arizona girl. I mean, things are really looking up for me. You'd almost think that I kind of manufactured this whole situation just so it works out for my visits. Gabby, tell us a little bit about how long you've been going to Bellevue schools. So I moved to Bellevue in fifth grade from Washington, D.C. I went to Medina Elementary, then Chinook Middle School, and I'm gonna finish it up at Bellevue High School. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a lifer, pretty much. I mean, you've been here since fifth grade. There is this really nice core group of kids that have been together and been through all the grades together, and so it's really extra bittersweet. I personally was really looking forward to that day at the stadium when we all watched them all go from, you know, little to big. I mean, I see you a lot, but I haven't really talked to you too much about, you know, really how you're feeling about not, let's talk about prom. How did you feel about prom not happening? Um, I was really sad about prom, actually. I was probably more upset about prom than graduation, just because so many people still talk about their prom and like show their prom pictures and like even if they're bad and just funny the experience I feel like is such an important experience in American society like in general and like it's either like you had a horrible prom or you had the best prom ever and so it sucks that I'll, I'll just have to say oh, I didn't go to prom we didn't have one. <laughs> yeah there's so many things that happened between May 31st and June 16th that were planned. Is there something in particular? I know for instance you're very involved at school with with like your Soup for Simpson, maybe you could talk yes. about that. So um, Soup for Simpson was supposed to be mid-March and Soup for Simpson is a little fundraiser that we do every year and it goes to support New Horizons, which is a local teen, ho teen homeless center. And last year we raised over $15,000 and this year we found a way to do it online, but the event every year at school is just really cool. Everybody floods the commons, and this year I would have been a senior, and I really kind of put it all together, so it's really sad that all that planning yeah. <laughs> was for nothing, yeah. You did a really great job all the way through, so I'm sorry for you, but I know you have a recruit uh, with long brunette hair sitting right over there that will help <laughs> take you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your plans for U of A. Is it happening next year? Are you planning on going? Yeah, so I'm planning on going in the fall. U of A was one of the first schools that said that they were going to have in like on campus school. So I'm very excited. I think there's like still some questions about if like sorority recruitment is going to be online or in person. And you were a cheerleader all through high school? Mm -hmm. And yeah. you're not cheering in college. You thought about it. No, I might next year, but mm, we don't know. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned. Well, if, if so, we'll have to take it on the road and go down to a game. I just want to thank you for being with us yeah, and being with me and, you know, doing little errands for me and making me dinner sometimes <laughs> and just, you know, telling me if this outfit looks good or not. And I am personally going to really, really miss you next year. Things are going to change, and um, I love you. Love you, too. <laughs>